Tonight, we have the MMT evaluation. And since there's no embargo, we can get into what works and what does not work here with past lives. A24's latest film already getting you know tabbed to be possibly an Oscars contender, very much like we saw with everything everywhere. Not that they're the same film, like, and I mean at all, but it feels like we're already trying to do that. Now, let's walk you through the film. Past lives, the, the strengths of this film very clearly, the, the number one takeaway here from this film, Past Lives, is that it's visually sumptuous. This looks unbelievable. And, and it goes to the director of this film, Celine Song. She has an absolute visual eye when it comes to storytelling. It works from, from that perspective alone, this film is an absolute recommend. The problem with past lives, this is getting to point number two, is that it's sluggishly paced. It takes its time, a very deliberate film, and while I understand there's lots of, I have a ton of films that I love that are leisurely paced. Look at a tar. Again, let's bring it up for the second time tonight. Tar is by no means rushed. It is absolutely methodical. This film is similar in the pacing, but the problem is there's not enough in play with the film. The film essentially deals with a Korean immigrant who harkens back to when she was 12 years old and her crush that she had when she was 12. And now that she's 36, she is thinking about. In the in between, they meet like at twenty four. They zoom back and forth, and they they Skype, I should say, and they and they do that. And then it's just the problem with the film is that does anybody <laughs> come into the comments and tell me? Do you think back to your crush when you were twelve, when you were in sixth grade? Do you think back to that boy or girl that turned you on? that said, this is my first love. Does anybody think back to that and say yes? The answer is hell no. You know who we all absolutely were infatuated with in Gahanna, Ohio, my hometown baby, Lori Strait. If you're out there, Lori, we all thought you were the bee's knees. But I can tell you until tonight, I hadn't thought about Lori Strait. But if I look at past lives, I'm led to believe that I should still be, well, a few years ago, infatuated with Lori Strait. The problem with past lives is that you do not care enough about the relationship between the two of them because they're going back to when they were 12, 12 years old. Okay. Number three, it couples right into this. It's oddly unemotional. It's distant. And I have to, because we are unvarnished and we say what we believe to be truths here, because that's what we do. We're absolutely doing an evaluation. We're not going to hold back. Greta Lee, the lead of this film, is distant in her performance. And yes, I understand that's part of her character. But when you are an actress or an actor and you have to play a role where you need to imbue emotion into the film one way or another, you can be distant as you want, but when it comes time to do it, to make it happen, to make you feel something from the film, you have to be able to deliver. And I had a problem with her performance. It's by no means a best actress performance. And we do not, Greta Lee is not a best actress per, uh, contender right now. No, no chance. Okay. It's, it's not a bad performance, but it's by no means whatsoever an awards performance. Okay. We need to make that a hundred percent clear tonight in June. So if we have this conversation down the road, we're doing something wrong. MMT score is low for me on this. I expect it to be so much higher. It's a 75% because of the reality that it has very little emotion for a film that is built in that it's what it's supposed to deliver. It's not just about the visual beauty of the film. You have to give me a reason to care about this couple through the 36 years. It's 24 years, but 
20, 12 to 36. 24 years that they're together. And it doesn't happen in this film. Past Lives is a big disappointment. It's my number one most disappointing film of the year. And it is a film that is the absolute textbook. The idea of a film is greater than the actual film. Films, you go back and you say, this film should be great because of the concept, but then the actuality of what you watch does not meet the expectation of what it should bring. And in this case, emotionally. Another film like that for me is Cocaine Bear. Completely different films. But when you think of the concept of Cocaine Bear, you expect to be laughing your ass off for thank God it's 90 minutes, 90 minutes, and you laugh maybe once, possibly twice. That movie is such a disconnect from what it should have been versus what it is. And this is our big topic. Think about films that the idea of the film, what people want the film to be, is what they're saying it is, and it's not. And that's what Past Lives is. It's not the film that people are telling you it is. In other words, it's not nearly as great as you've heard.